We're here in, in beautiful, balmy Vancouver in December, and we're shooting some action sequences here right now for a little film called Luchador. You're looking to capture the high moments, the, the moments of, of great drama, uh, of an actor emoting in a particular way that speaks to the project. You're looking to really capture the essence of the project in a single frame. I actually started back in the 1990s as a writer. That was my, my first uh, <laughs> career ambition was to be a screenwriter in Hollywood for TV. Uh, I learned a lot through that process of screenwriting. I learned how to create stories visually. Well, I was first introduced to the Fujifilm system back in 2011, I think it was, and I was traveling to Africa to work in a, in a lion conservation program. The Fuji X100, I liked the analog dials, I liked the feel of it. It was a camera that just sort of encouraged you to want to pick it up and shoot with it. And so I came back with some of my very favorite images with that. And then when the Fuji X-T1 arrived, um, with its silent shutter, that dovetailed with me beginning to shoot stuff on set. And so I uh, immediately got one, and I haven't looked back. So I've been using the X-T1, and then the X-Pro2, the X-T2, and of course now the, the X-H1 camera. Make the movie or make the TV show one frame at a, at a time. Every set has its own challenges. There's physical challenges, obviously, with weather. There's stuff scattered everywhere. You're trying not to trip on anything. You're trying not to hit anybody else. You're trying not to fall into the frame. You're trying to stay, you know, out of the camera person's way. And in addition to that, you're trying to find the great frame. And oftentimes you're trying to do it from a limited number of vantage points, a limited number of positions. When I first started playing with this camera, one of the very first things that I noticed was the shutter button had been moved forward. They've also created a shutter that is extremely soft and responsive and quiet. So when I shoot with it, I'm firing it right now, you can barely hear it. People say it's like the child of the, the X-T2 and the GFX medium format camera in terms of the design. You've got a, an LCD panel here over on the top that gives you all your critical information. They've still maintained the dials, but they've moved the shutter release forward. But of course, the camera's biggest claim to fame is the new in-body image stabilization system. And that really is a wonderful addition. With lenses like the 56mm 1.2, which doesn't have stabilization, I can shoot now at much lower shutter speeds than I have in the past. Traditionally, when I put this lens on my X-T2 or my X-Pro2, I don't go below 1 125th of a second because I can't necessarily hold it hold it stable. So with this system, I can now drop my shutter speeds to a 60th of a second or a 30th of a second. That's two more stops down that I can hold it. So I can be shooting it at 1600 ISO instead of 6400 ISO. This actually just makes these lenses that much better and allows me to use them in a wider array of situations and know that I'm going to get the shot. I can shoot in unusual angles, I can crouch down, and I can use this 56 1.2, and I feel totally confident that the camera is stable. But in addition to that, the softer, more responsive shutter release and quieter shutter also reduces the vibration that you feel through the camera as well. Great moments on this set tonight. There's been quite a few shots that I've been I've been pretty happy with, particularly since I've been able to use some of my favorite prime lenses now with this camera and just get that little bit of extra assurance when I'm taking the shot.